into the obligatory through the animals question here. Good afternoon everyone, welcome along to Wellington Zoo and a special big welcome to our chimpanzee talk. My name is Kylie and this is Kerry over here, let's look at the visitor rangers here. And this is our amazing chimpanzee family. They're quite a special group, they're sort of like you and I when it comes to personalities. Everyone is very different, has their own interests, likes, dislikes. So what I'm going to do is introduce you to some of our chimpanzees and tell you a little bit about them. And then I'm also going to tell you a little bit about how we help out chimpanzees and a little bit about what you can do to help them out as well because I'm sure you'll agree with me, they're pretty cool animals. You've already seen a little bit of their personality shine this morning, especially with Benny up the top there. And what I'll do at the very end is throw over the rest of the food. So I'm going to let them enjoy a little bit now. I know some of them didn't grab some, but just letting you know that this is just a little treat for them. They actually get their main meals at the start and end of the day. So I'll try and see if I can get some for the bumps at the back there afterwards, but at the moment we're just going to do a little bit of a talk now. So uh, who shall we introduce you to first? I might as well start with the little ones because they're very cute and everyone always notices them. So sitting directly in the centre of the cave, he's just turning around now to watch his little sister. His name is Benny. He's going to be five years old in October and just like a five-year-old of us, He's a little bit of a rascal at times. Loves to uh, wind the other chimpanzees up, learn lots of naughty little tricks from our two teenage boys, Alexi and Pepper. But he's also a very good brother. Now Malika there, the other little one walking across the cave, she's a couple of years old. And uh, with Benny, she is actually very fond of playing with him and he's very fond of playing with her. His mother Sally is sitting at the very top of the cave next to the waterfall. So I have noticed that she's got a very cute little baby clutch to her tummy. It's only a few months old. Now this baby was born and we were going to a close eye on Benny because we weren't sure how he'd react not being mum's top priority anymore. But he's actually been really good and hasn't thrown any tantrums or done pouting. Instead he's even imitated mum a few times. So she walks around carrying her new baby to her tummy. And Benny actually grabs and picks up little Malika and carries her around close to her tummy as well. Obviously, he's not quite as big as Mum, but it's still very cute to watch. Now, that's a little bit about our youngsters here at the zoo. We've obviously got quite a lot of adults too, and they're asking me for food, but I'm not going to give it to them until the end. Now, the big boy sitting right at the front here, really big muscles on him. His name is Sam, and he's actually the father to both Benny and little Malika there. He's a real sweetheart, really big, strong chip, and that would make you think, oh, he must be the, the top chimpanzee, the alpha male. And as a matter of fact, he's not. So despite being really strong and a very capable guy, he's actually a bit too sweet and soft to be the head chip. So he's pretty much second in command. Our head chimpanzee, his name is Marty, and he's sitting down beside the waterfall, really enjoying his apple right now. And he gets quite a few benefits being the top chimpanzee very much including uh, getting first to get the food, but he also does a very good job looking after all the other chimpanzees. So if we ever need to bring them in at night time or for any other reason, he'll actually do the march around and make sure everyone else is there before he goes at last. So he takes very good care of the big group of chimpanzees we have here. Now we have several others and you can see that they're sitting in different areas, so that gives you a good idea of who's who in the family and who's higher ranked. You can also tell when they come down to eat who's at what level. So you can see our beautiful girl, um, Kaza, sitting up the top there. She is a teenage girl of very low rank compared to the others, so she stays further back when food comes around just because she knows that if she comes forward too soon, she's going to get told off by the others by sitting on a little bit too early. Well, we also have Jessie, who unfortunately I haven't been able to see today. She could potentially even be inside still sleeping in. Um, so even our chimps like to have a good lion. But Jessie is one of my personal favourite chimps because she really enjoys some of the fun things in life like painting and the clothing as well. She's very fond of shoes, especially if it's pink. So if you ever do see Jessie around, if you come to the chimpanzee area, she is quite a big chimp, very bald look at. She's one of the older chimps of our group. And if you show her your shoes, she might come over and have a closer look at her inspection. She's really fond of that. Now, uh, what I'll do in a moment is just throw over some more food so we can encourage them down and I can put out any others who come along as well. 
Uh, one other thing I did want to talk about while we're doing this talk is how we look after chimps here at the zoo. Uh, you can see that we want to make sure that they have lots of the right food so they get lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. They sometimes get a treat like chicken, so they really do enjoy that sort of thing. But also we want to make sure that they really enjoy their time here by giving them lots of things to play with. So they've got the big awesome playground that they like to play on here as well. Really lucky because the local fire department, when their hoses get holes in them and they can't use them anymore, they donate that old fire hose to us so we can use it to make hammocks and other play toys for our chimps. The thing is that we can give our chimps here a really healthy, happy life, but their wild counterparts are having a bit of trouble out in the wild because they're losing a lot of their natural habitat. And that's just from deforestation when a lot of their trees and their home are being cut down. So not just helping out these guys, we also do our little bit for wild chimpanzees too by making sure we're not taking any wood that's come from their homes. And we do that in a very easy way, looking out for this logo whenever we buy anything. So a lot of the new buildings and enclosures you've seen around the zoo, we actually look out for the FSC logo when we're buying this wood of paper. And it's just telling us that it's come from a sustainable forest. It's also an internationally recognised logo as well. So if you're visiting us from outside New Zealand, this is something you can look for at home as well. And it's that little tiny thing that can make all the difference for animals like these guys. And I'm sure you agree that we want to keep these guys around for many future generations. All the little ones here who love chimps, I love chimps. I want to make sure that we still have these amazing animals around. You can see Benny's giving Malika a hug there as well. Like I said, he is a great big brother to her. So what Perry and I are going to do now is throw over some more food. If anyone else comes down or if any interesting behaviour turns up, like the teenage boys displaying, then I'll tell you all about it as well. Uh, but do have a fantastic day and thank you for joining us. One last thing as well, if you're interested in feeding an animal yourself, it's not that you feed our chip, but at 12.30 there is a giraffe talk at the top of the hill. And if our giraffes are keen on eating, you'll actually get the chance to feed them at the end too. So very cool talk to have along to. Other than that, we'll throw the rest of the food and if anything else happens, I'll let you know. But uh, enjoy this lovely sunshine and thank you for joining us.
So if you hear that, if it's, if it's nearby, come on down, have a look. It's definitely worthwhile watching. <laughs> really fun. But I'll leave you to it. If you have any questions, we are more than happy to ask. So feel free to come on down and ask. But do enjoy the rest of your day here at Wellington Zoo. And again, thank you for joining us.